right, welcome back everyone. Here we have lesson seven, multiplying whole numbers. So I wanna guide you through the steps of the algorithm to get you feeling more confident about multiplying whole numbers. So I thought I'd give you, start with two examples. One, the first one being a four digit number times a one digit number. So let's dig in and figure this out. So we want to start with our ones place and we want to multiply all of the digits times four. Okay, so let's start. Eight times four is 32. Okay, I'm gonna regroup that three because we know that 32 is really three tens, so we're gonna put it with the tens, and two ones, which we put in the ones place. Okay, then we keep going. So one times four is four, plus the three is seven. Seven times four is 28. So this one we do need to regroup again, okay? And then we'll finish off with the thousands. Four times five is 20, plus the two is 22. Okay, so our answer ended up being our product was 22,872. Okay, and now I'd like to move over to my three digit times a two digit number, okay? We're gonna do a lot of the same steps, same process, um, and I'll guide you through what to do with the other digit, okay? So let's start with the ones place. We want to multiply everything times six. Just like we did over here times the four, we wanna do it over here. And sometimes I like to cover up my tens place so that I don't accidentally multiply by that first. I wanna make sure I just focus on the six. Okay, so two times six is 12. We're gonna do this the same way we did the other problem, still regrouping. Okay, three times six is 18 plus the one is 19. Still gonna regroup the same way. One times six is six, plus the one is seven. And I like to call this a partial product because it's part of the answer, part of the product. We're not quite done yet because we haven't done anything with the 20 in 26. Okay, so let me show you a little trick that helps me to get my next step set up. So I like to say X, O, and I'll explain that. This, this is a little rhyming practice. So X, O, no, go. So say that with me. X, O, no, go. And I'll explain each part. So the X is because we are done with that six. We've already multiplied everything by it, so we are done. And the O right here, which is really a zero, is so that we can hold that place value. Because, well, let's decide. What is this two that we're gonna move on to? What is that really worth in the number 26? Oh, good, it's worth 20. So if I'm gonna multiply anything times 20, I know that I'm gonna have a zero on the end because of the number 20. So, and the no go is so that I don't forget and accidentally add those again. I've already added them on the first round, so I'm done. So X, O, no, go. All right, now let's keep going. I want to start back at the ones place and multiply everything times this two in, in 26. Two times two is four. And let's double check our thinking. Let's see if that really was true that we need that zero there. What is two times 20? Okay, good job, it's 40, so I'm glad we have that zero there. Three times two is six. One times two is two, okay? And like I said before, I call this a partial product. Well, now there's two partial products, two parts of my answer. So what do you think I need to do with my two partial products? 
Great job, we're gonna add, add our two partial products. So two plus zero is two, nine plus four is 13. Okay, seven plus six is 13, plus the one is 14. And then there's a three. So my total product is 3,432. Great job. Okay, now I'm excited to show you my new project that I'm working on. I've got these log cabins that I'm wanting to build. And this is just me building the first one. So starting out with some oak logs for the roof. So I'm gonna need a lot of those. I'm gonna need a lot of oak planks for the walls. And then as you can see, I'm just using normal glass panes for the windows. I'm gonna use quite a few of these. And then I'm also going to be needing some torches to keep it light, as well as these carpet pieces. So the idea is, the basic idea is that I want to build a resort with these log cabins in them. And I'm wanting to build 12. So I need a little help figuring out how many materials I'm going to need of each of these resources. So here is one of the finished cabins. Now you can help me figure out how many materials I need. Okay, so here's the oak log and I need 375 per cabin. And I'm trying to build 12 cabins. So can you pause the video and help us figure out how many I need to make all 12 cabins. Let's check your work. So I'm gonna start with my ones place and I'm gonna multiply everything times two. Five times two is 10. Four times two is 14 plus the one is 15. And then three times two is six plus the one is seven. Then I'm gonna do my trick. Do you remember it? X, O, no go. And then everything times one. So five times one, seven times one, three times one. That was easy. Okay, then I'm going to add my partial products. So I need 4,500 oak logs. Okay, we also need 280 wood planks per cabin. How many do we need for 12 cabins? We also need 286 carpet pieces. How many do we need for 12 cabins? Pause the video and help us out. Okay, here's a little easier one. We need 28 window panes or glass panes per cabin. How many do we need for 12 cabins? Okay, here's our last one. We need 16 torches per cabin. How many do we need for 12 cabins? Help us out. 